Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Let me show you how to get any item you want in Breath of the Wild in Simu. So, first of all, take note of where your save is. So, MLC01, emulator save, game version, and here we go. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are your saves. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go to this website. Thanks to Mark Robledo for making it. I'll provide it in the description below. So, we are going to open a save. It can be any save. It doesn't really matter. So I've made a quick uh, copy, Simu copy, same files again, straight to the save. Let's say we pick one, it doesn't matter. We're going to pick the game underscore data dot sav. So let's open this up. And what we have here is my inventory. So 871 rupees. Let's check in Simu itself. 871 rupees, so exactly the same. Now, one of my subscribers wanted the Bigoron sword. Let me show you how to get it. We're going to trade out one of our swords here, but you don't have to do that. You click the little pen tool. And then go to the drop down and find what you're looking for. So we want the Begoron sword. There it is. Okay, change item. And here on the right, you also have the value so we can make it stronger. So let's say we want Begoron sword and we want uh, lots and lots of rupees. So that's all you need to do. You click save changes. Then you get a new game underscore data dot save file. So a new save file. What we're going to do, we're going to go into our download folder. And we're basically going to copy that into every one of our saves. So why are we going to copy that? Uh, just to save any issues, okay? So yep, copy and save in zero. Copy and save in one. So why are we doing that? Uh, just process of elimination. It means that whatever we load is the correct one. So let's load any single one of our saves and look what happens. Uh, it, it really doesn't matter. Let's pick an auto save. It does not matter. Okay, so what we should see is lots and lots of rupees. Oh dear, there we go. And we will also have the Bigoron sword on our back because that we that's what we had selected. So there you go. Nice and easy. Once again, in the website itself, you can change the values of everything you want. If you go to the very bottom and you click add item, you literally have, I, I think, every item in the game. It's pretty crazy. Uh, a little bit of a disclaimer from my point of view. Don't overdo it. Don't exploit the system. Don't ruin it for yourself. You know, if you're a tester or you like testing, this is perfect. Or if you're desperate for that one item. But if you completely exploit the system, you're going to ruin the experience for yourself. So let's take a quick look at the uh, Begoron Sword. There you go. Let's charge it up. So simple as one, two, three, my friends. Game, save, editing. There you go. So I'm the Complaining Gamer. If you enjoy the video, leave us a like, subscribe. I'm constantly making content. So I hope you have a good day. Catch you later.